You know what I'm saying? So we got the single cap. You want to wrap this bitch up? You want to go get a filter or you want to wait till tomorrow? What you talking about? I mean, a gasket? The gasket I mean, come today or you just want to wait till tomorrow? Uh, or you want to wrap it up today? I mean, we can always use the gas that's coming on another motor because we're going to have some of that lessons around. So you just want to go get one. No, I'm asking you. Do you want to get it over with or not? It's up to you, nigga. I always get it over with and done. This video today is about the single cab because yesterday's video was supposed to be, but we was all over the place. I ended up fixing that four wheel. I had some more customers, a lot of people. We brought the refrigerator in. No, we so, yeah, they on the way. They ain't on the way for that today. They on the way right now. You Yeah, what kind of phone you got, bro? Why your shit look better than mine? Oh, mine's 12, that's why. Alright guys, so I'm taking over V channel, man. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I just put that sticker in the back. Um Man, y'all better come on, man. V got some heat coming. I'm telling y'all. Oh, bro. Yeah. That 9.6, it look good underneath there. Oh, yeah? You see? I went to go uh, drop off some stuff today. Oh, yeah, I did it, bro. I mean, if you want to go all the way, we can still go some more. Go some more. Get the whole bottom of it. Just wipe it down. So that's part of the I ain't gonna lie, whoever had that car, they never drove it in the rain type situation. Yeah. It was all surface. It. Yeah, they ain't driving in the mud or nothing. So. That's yeah. crazy because I ain't never seen a car like that. That old with a, it didn't have no gunk underneath it, bro. Like this car got gunk underneath it. Yeah. So what you have to pull, uh, take down now? So right now I gotta get the rack and pin. It just it's two a, bolts. You see them two big ass yeah. bolts right there? Let me see. And then see, I was like, I've been going through it, so I was talking to my wife. Oh, okay. Man, part the bit. I left the tool bag in the Malibu. Oh damn. I was supposed to pick up the Malibu last night, but shit, I left the keys here. So I had to come back here this morning and left the impact here to fix the Malibu. So, oh, yeah, yeah a long ass morning, bro. Everything like that, so. Yeah. Gonna get it right, yeah, all we have left, guys, so he's gonna have to move the racket pinion. The gasket come in today. I might just go get a gasket, to be honest, just to get it over with. And then get some. And, and, and then, and then, uh, I can go to AutoZone, huh? Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and get a uh, gasket. And how many quarts does this thing take? Like six and a half, seven. So I just get seven quarts of oil. I get high mileage, huh? Yeah. How many miles on the jump? 168. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you need to go to I ain't put no synthetic. No niggas who get this shit can put synthetic in this whole nigga. I ain't put no synthetic. Oh, damn, we can't even check. We should have checked the transmission fluid first, huh? Man, the transmission ain't leaking to that. It ain't? All that oil was motor So it was the gasket. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Because I ain't see it. I went underneath there. I just. For sure, though, when I take it out 100% out, I'll be able to look at the real main seal a little bit. I have a little visual edit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that boy got that mug in the air, guys. Yeah, so the pan is actually dangling. You know, the only thing that's actually holding it is the uh, oil pump, the uh, pickup tube is in the front. And so the rack and pinion right here, the bar, nigga, and the pan is cuffed up just yeah. about that much. Ain't the nothing. Yeah, I seen it on YouTube last night that it's the rack and pinion, too, a boat that he said you don't have to take it out. You can just pull the yeah, boat. Yeah, just uh, move the boat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let me go, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get the, um, the gasket, man. So. He don't have to wait, and then we can just get the other gasket later. So, I'm gonna show y'all boys how, what we gotta do up under there. Yeah. Oh yeah, hey, yeah, I'm finna go and do this. Man. Bro, yeah, happy customer, man. Okay, gang, I got y'all set up. That's a 5 16 socket on top of that um, rack and pinion boat. So, what I'm gonna do is set the impact right here, set it in there on it. Now, I got my crescent wrench for the back side, slide from the back. 
a little bit of time because I don't got fat. Okay. So, safety first, y'all. Y'all always use y'all jack stands, man. Don't ever forget to use your jack stands. But yeah, so. We just gotta loosen these bumps up, like I said earlier. Grab them out like that. Get your washer, your nut, to the other side. see the oil pan itself oh uh, whoever uses oil pan well i see i don't know if y'all can see i'm gonna show y'all though they been they painted his block before so somebody been in this oil pan they used the original oil pan and it is busted up like bad so it's a guarantee robert this with your this with your um this where your leak was coming from this is original gasket all right, gang, we got y'all set up on the tripod stand, man. I can't say it enough, man. Shout out that boy, and I really was trying to go back. I got so many messages that I can't even figure out, like, uh, who who was it that sent me this thing on the tripod? But I personally like the tripod. Everybody else who see the tripod be like, bro, the tripod cool as shit with the little giraffe in it. But yeah, gang, so we are finna get this off. I'm gonna take these. I don't know what this, this part called in the oil pan, but I'm gonna take this tray out so we can get up all the oil from at the bottom and clean up all the sludge. We're gonna clean this baby up. You know what I'm saying? Robert Block is already painted red. He don't know it, but it's all good. You know, I, 93B, I gotta go the extra mile. So we're gonna clean this thing up and we're gonna get this thing painted up nice and neat. And y'all gonna see it once we're done. We're gonna put the new gasket on there. Like I said, he don't know it, but I gotta do my 93 thing. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's up, it's up. I'm gonna box this thing up off of here. We're gonna grab a flathead. We're gonna run y'all on the time now.
Depo and the Bean. We got the oil pan in, all nice and neat. Everything all black, nice and right. Everything is ready, how it's supposed to be. Boys, it's tired, it's like 11.30. It's like 11.30, maybe 12. I don't know what time it is, but Zoe still up going in. Doing the same thing she did in the last video. Ain't nobody can't get you that black puppy wet, but we found a home for it, so yeah. Alright gang, so for sure now man, it's a wrap to the video. Y'all make sure y'all hit up Robert or scan the truck man for y'all chance to win the single cab. We're gonna have this thing nice and clean. Y'all see how the undercarriage is, no more oil leaks. Everything nice and neat. We got it sitting squatted on the patootie tootie now. Real talk. So yeah gang, y'all already know what time it is, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. It's been a hell of a day, hell of a video. I already know what time it is. Yiggity, yiggity, yow.